Hello everyone, I have an absolute massive amount of Huda Beauty lipsticks in this bag right here. I've not even counted them yet, but there are quite a few and we are going to do a lip swatch video today. I'm very excited. I have been of course promising this video for a little bit now. I've collected these lipsticks over like a while. Hopefully all of the colors are still available. I will list all of the colors I'm swatching down below as well as some places you can purchase them. I have used a couple of these in the past. I think it was their like New Year's collection or Christmas collection or something maybe last year. I'll link the video where I used them down below because I was like shook like they would be beautiful for like glittery metallic lipsticks. These are the three shades I wore in the video I was just talking about which I'll link below like I said. Look how cool they are. They're like super glittery. I think a lot of these are matte and maybe cream or maybe they are or matte. I don't know. Either way I will show you each color and let you know what I think of each one. And if you enjoy this video please thumbs up. Make sure you vote and let me know if you love lip swatch videos or if you are over them because I have a whole lot of MAC lipsticks I would love to swatch for you. Just don't know if it's worth putting myself through all of this pain. You guys have to let me know if you actually like them. Also I will link this makeup look down below. I'm pretty sure I don't have any like double ups and I have about 24 shades so let's jump straight in. I've basically lined them up according to the outer color of the packaging. I really like the packaging. It's really nice quality. I love how you can kind of see a hint of what the color inside is and then the actual bullet is quite a cool shape. Looks like this. Like it's very 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 nice. Very high quality. I'm going to be removing each lip color with my face halo. You can buy these off exobeautyshop.com and they come right off. First off we have the shade Stayacation Matte Lipstick and it's a really pale kind of brown based nude. So that is how it staycation looks. It's pretty opaque with one swipe, but I do still build it up a bit just because it's such a pale nude color. I just want to make sure that it's like all good. I actually love this shade. It's like the perfect beige brown kind of undertone for my skin tone or where it's like a pale nude but it doesn't wash me out it still gives a little bit of color i definitely think this one's really really nice if you're a similar skin tone to me i think it'll look perfect and if you're a little bit darker than me it could be a really nice light nude as well so yeah that one's a win from me that's going to stay in my collection even though i don't need any more nudes but who does the next one we have here is called anniversary i've actually used this one before apparently this one is like seemingly creamier. It's still a matte finish, but it just feels creamier when you apply it than the last one. The last one definitely felt a bit more dry. Don't know why, but this one's really pretty as well. I definitely think I'll give this one to a friend because I have so many colors very similar to this one. I think I prefer the last one a little bit more. This one's a little bit more, I don't know, like peachy, I guess. Still stunning. And I mean, if I didn't have 8,000 nudes already, I'd probably keep it. And this one's so comfy, so comfortable on the lips. This will look amazing on my friend Kelly, so. I'm gonna give it to her. So yeah, once again, that is called the Anniversary. Next up we have the shade Joyride, which is another nude. This one appears to be a little bit more pink base. I really like the shape of the bullet. It makes it nice and easy to get a sharp line even when you're not wearing a lip pencil. This color is really nice. I think it looks amazing with this eye makeup as well. I feel like it would look Good with a lot of different skin tones and a lot of different makeup looks. Colorful, neutral, whatever. Just because it's kind of pinky undertoned, but then like brownish. I don't know how to really describe it. It's almost like your looks but better, except darker and like more dramatic almost or something like that. So once again, that one is called Joyride. I'm definitely keeping this one in my collection because I feel like it's super versatile. Next up, we have the shade Girls Trip. This one looks a bit more pink this time. I feel like I'm gonna love this. Yeah, I really like this. I would describe this kind of as a really wearable baby pink. It's not like garish and bright or anything. It's like a very wearable pink, but like that baby pink kind of color. Like a perfect blush almost. Like perfect for wedding makeup, for every day, for the office, for school. Just very, very wearable, but still nice and flirty and quite romantic looking. It makes you look very fresh. I feel like this one would look nice on people with my type of skin tone and even like super pale people as well. Or if you have a deeper skin tone, using this in the center and doing like an ombre would look beautiful. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of that one actually. That is Girls Trip and it is matte again. I think pretty much all these are matte in the end. I thought I might've had creams, but yeah, I think they're all matte. Next up, we have Prom Night and this one is another like nude pinky kind of undertone. I think it might be a bit darker than the previous one. A lot of these shades are kind of similar. So hopefully this lip swatch video will help you figure out exactly which ones you want. Cause I don't think you need every shade. 
So this is Prom Night. I feel like it's a little less pink than the previous one. It's a bit more nude, like a nude pink rather than like a baby pink. Very stunning. I really want to keep this. Do I need it? Probably not, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna put it to like the left of me. This can be my one I keep if I've like kept an odd number because I like to have them all like sitting really nicely in my drawer. And so if I just need one to fill the gap, like this will be it. Next up we have it, the shade Interview. This one looks more medium nude for me. And let's see what it looks like. Yeah, definitely more of like a medium nude. It's a little bit darker, a really nice kind of like reddish, brownish undertone. I feel like, yeah, this color would probably look really good on a lot of skin tones, so that's a win. That is called Interview. I really like it. Next up we have Graduation Day. This one looks like a really nice deeper, like, plummy nude. My lips are starting to already feel the consequences of today's video. I don't know what happens to the application of this one, but yeah, this one on me is like a really nice deep plummy nude. Borderline brown, borderline plum, like right in the middle. If brown and plum had a little baby, this is the lip color it would be. This would obviously look really good on people with deeper skin tones for a nude. For me, obviously I'm pale AF. Even if you're paler than me as well, it would look really cool as like a vampy kind of deep brownish plum. And I feel like that plum undertone just keeps it from looking like too crazy. It keeps it a little bit more wearable, so that color is stunning. I really love it with this eye makeup too. I feel like I wore the perfect eye makeup today for all of these colors. So yeah, once again, graduation day. I'm honestly not doing a very good job at culling these down. I've gotten rid of one so far and I've got one in a maybe pile and the rest I've kept, so. Whew. Next up we have third date. This one looks like a similar color to last time, except maybe even more pinky. We're getting into that kind of range where I would definitely probably use a lip pencil with these just to get a really nice perfect application because the darker the colors are the more opaque they go on and it's a bit easier to mess up but yeah that's this one stunning as well I don't think I need both I think the last one was a bit more muted perhaps this one's a little bit brighter plum it's like super true to color it's less of like a nude or like whatever you know it's like more colorful it's a bit more bold stunning though very pretty but i don't think i will keep this one because i've kept too many once again looks amazing with the bold eyes but you could also wear it with very simple eye makeup as well and just let the lips do the talking you know the next color is called board meeting and we're going back a bit more nude again apparently this one's like a brown nude This is like the perfect 90s, like beige, kind of warm nude. I am a fan. I don't think I'll keep it because I've got others that are very similar, but it's just one of those staple colors. Goes with anything, especially if you're doing quite a warm, kind of bronze, smoky eye. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful, but I've got some very similar already, so that can go to a friend as well. Once again, it is called board meeting. The only reason I'm not donating these is obviously because I am trying them on for you guys. Sometimes I think by filming videos like this, it helps long term as well like even though like i'm wasting them they're going to a good home don't worry but you know since i'm wearing them once and getting rid of them people are like it's such a waste you know but at the same time i hope by me filming these videos it helps you guys choose exactly what you want so you guys don't waste your money and you guys don't buy them and throw them away and waste them that way you know what i mean like hopefully i can help you make an educated choice and therefore reduce waste long term but yeah i probably need to be a bit more selective so that i don't end up with a jillion lipsticks again i'll link my previous lip swatch i mean not lip swatch my lip declutters down below it was crazy i threw away like probably a few hundred lipsticks but if you like declutters make sure you check them out next up we have first kiss which is like a kind of peachier brown nude <laughs> That is really pretty as well. And that kind of peachier kind of undertone to the brown looks really nice with this eye makeup too, surprisingly. I thought it would be too peach, but on, it's very wearable. I probably will give this one to a friend as well because I feel like I do have a lot similar and I've already kept a lot. But yeah, that's stunning. Once again, it's called First Kiss. Ridiculously wearable. I feel like this one would also be perfect for like office, school, date night, like clubbing daytime night like whatever just is very versatile next up we have the shade game night this one is more of a true brown it looks a little bit darker it's 
So there's game night. Like I said, true rich very pigmented brown very stunning i quite like it i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile as well along with that other color because if i have some space and haven't kept too many more i'll definitely keep this one um i just think it's so classic quite grungy like you could pair it up with like a smoky eye for like a grungy look or you could wear it with minimal eye makeup for like a statement look quite cool i really like that once again it's game night next up we have the shade pool party and this looks like another like plummy kind of purple like a purpley pink even maybe let's try it on my lips are like so plump right now from like putting on or removing so many different colors this is so pretty as well i think i'll probably give it to a friend i think i've got some similar ones by mac maybe it's like a plummy pink like i said like a cool tone muted pink with those touches of like the purplish color but it's still probably no nah, it's actually kind of in the middle like i can't really decide if it's purple or pink it's like really wearable though for like something that's quite cool toned it doesn't make me look like sick or anything like that it makes my teeth look nice and white so that's really pretty as well. Honestly, I completely failed at putting these all in a good order. Next up we have Last Night, which is like another brown. Just comparing it to Game Night, I feel like it's a little bit like cooler tone, whereas Game Night looks a little bit more like warmer brown. Yeah, that one's definitely a lot more like cooler. It's a little bit more unique, like very, very, very muted. I really like it. It's kind of like a deep, like yellowish undertone. I feel like this would look amazing on deep skin for a nude. It's really fun. It's definitely super 90s. I think I want to keep that too because yeah it's just giving me like all the 90, vi 90 vibes, 90s vibes. My teeth look pure white. I feel like with a really nice bronze smoky eye. I always say that bronze smoky eye. I just love me a good bronze smoky eye though. You know browns would look so pretty or even cool tone smoky eye. Next up we have a rendezvous. I love that word. I don't even know. I don't even know what it means, but it's just such a fancy looking word. Um, this one is like a peachier, pinky kind of color. Beautiful, perfect pink. This is perfect for spring and summer. It's like a pop of color, but it's still so wearable. Like it's not like bright and garish. It's like very flattering against my skin tone. Perfect mix of pink and peach. I really like this. Love it with the eye makeup. I feel like you could use it with minimal eye makeup, dramatic, like it doesn't matter. It's just so wearable. So I'ma keep it. Plus the name's cute. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. <laughs> Next up we have Honeymoon and this one is a similar kind of tone but much more pink, like true pink. So that is Honeymoon. I'm going to give this to a friend because I definitely have colours like this. It's just a beautiful bright soft pink, like bright and soft at the same time. It's not like neon or anything, it's just like, I don't know, bright pink. Very fresh, makes your complexion look beautiful. I love colours like this but I already have a ton, <laughs> like a ton. It's definitely not super unique but if you're looking for a nice wearable pink, like true pink, there you go, honeymoon. Next up we have a wedding day. I'm interested to see how this looks on. It looks like a muted pinky nude. <laughs> Another nude. Beautiful. Just a beautiful wearable nude with a touch of pink in it. Beautiful. Love it. Probably gonna give it to a friend still because I've kept a lot of nudes from this range already, but it's stunning. Next up we have Dirty 30. This one looks like a super muted, like grayish kind of nude brown with purplish undertones. This one goes on very creamy as well. It's quite a cool color. I don't think I'll keep this one. I feel like I've got a similar liquid lipstick from like BH Cosmetics or something like that. But yeah, it's definitely unique. Oh, I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile actually, we'll see. Once again, it's dirty at 30. It's such a cool color. It is definitely very unique. I feel like if you had blue eyes, it would make them like outstanding. Oh my God, can you hear my stomach rumbling? Oh. Next up we have Payday. It is a more blushy kind of tone. Payday, everyone. That's stunning. It is a like blushy kind of... It's actually kind of purplish undertone. It's like a really cool color. I don't know, I feel like it looks more blush toned in the tube and then you apply it and it kind of leans more plum. Very wearable. I'll give this one to a friend. It's stunning though. Kind of reminds me of the color I was wearing at the very start of this video, like in the intro, which is actually one of mine. I don't know where it went. Aroha by EXO Beauty. It's more like plumish, like pinky, like see what I mean? Like this is a bit more like muted. Next up we have Bachelorette. We're getting into a really bright pink this time. I 
feel like for some reason this one I had to go over a couple of times, but now it's like super vivid. This is such a fun pink. It's like that cool tone, Barbie pink, very bright. It makes a statement if you're looking for a color like this. It is very comfortable on the lips. It reminds me of Ineffable by EXO Beauty, which is a matte liquid, or like a semi-matte. Very, very, very similar. So this is like too similar for me to keep, except it is like completely matte. It dries like, well, it doesn't dry matte. It goes on completely matte. This one doesn't dry completely matte. So it's different, but I'll give it to a friend. Next up we have Spring at Break. This one's more of like a coral kind of pink. So that is spring break. This is stunning as well. It's such a fun, bright coral. Perfect for spring and summer once again. Definitely love this, but I think I've got some Chi Chi ones that are a little bit similar. So I might give this one to a friend as well, but it's so cool. I love it. Actually, you know what? Now I'm gonna keep it. I can't help myself. I really can't. Okay, the last four are definitely ones I would normally wear lip pencils with. They are so like dark and also like reds. So this one's a red. This is El Cinco de Mayo and it is a super bright red. I love the look of this. I cannot wait to put it on. It kind of has those like pinkish undertones, but it's obviously definitely a red. I'm obsessed. I definitely am not keeping it though, because I feel like I've already got MAC ones, GG ones, XO Beauty ones that all have very similar undertones, like bright reds, but it is stunning. If you're looking for a new bright red, there you go. It is stunning. It's bright. It is so comfortable. I feel like it's not as matte as the others. It says it's matte, but it's kind of more of like a creamy formula, this one. I don't know. And we appreciate how I look like I have like a friggin' beard right now because I've like been obviously reapplying my foundation when I've needed to around my lips. And it's like, I just, I'm just like, yeah, let's just go all over and now it looks great. <gasps> don't mind that. Anyway, next up we have Promotion Day. This is a more muted looking red, like a deeper red. <sighs> I cannot wait. Very pretty. It's a little bit less bright than the last one. It's probably more like elegant and nighttime or something like that. Whereas the last one was like vibrant. This one's still vibrant and bold, but it's like, you know, just less like bam in your face. Very pretty, very classy. Next up, we have a ladies night. This is a deep burgundy kind of red. Terrible application. I'm kind of tempted to keep it, but I don't know. Will I wear it? I might keep it. I don't feel like I have that many vampy shades. So once again, that's called Ladies Night. It is stunning. I'm obsessed. And the final color is Masquerade. This is like super dark. I can't even tell what kind of color it's gonna be. This color brings up my like inner goth. <laughs> this is like a deep, deep, deep purple. I'm gonna keep it because I really wanna do some transformation videos. I wanted to do like an ego transformation, goth makeup transformation, like different styles of makeup and different styles of fashion and like do the whole outfit, hair, makeup kind of thing. So yeah, I'm looking into doing that. What do you guys think? Cause like obviously my style is like very like girly and like, like cute, like classic, girliness I guess. So yeah I just wanted to do some like makeovers that are like completely different to what I would normally do. I feel like this will come in very very handy. And I have two gaps left so I'll probably get rid of Dirty 30 which was that like light lavenderish kind of undertone. And you can see that little bundle, little not very little but that bundle just there. That's all my Huda Beauty lipsticks I'm keeping. So you'll see some of these coming up in tutorials. I'm excited to you know style them with different eye makeup and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below, let me know which ones you think you would love and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Ow, my elbow.